Yeah. There's this uh, theory or uh, belief system, kind of like a kind of like consider it a, a knowledge-based belief system dealing with the like the ultimate potential of biological life forms and which for us is the human species and within an infinite realm what would we do and then that awakening I've been lately calling it an infinite <laughs> renaissance. <laughs> I keep confusing renaissance with um, resonance. And so maybe it would be an infinite resonance would probably be like the ultimate thing to live as a sort of a vibration as a spirit without the necessity of time, space, and matter, and in our case, food for biological reactions in order to get our ticker and the head right, <laughs> get your, your mind right, son, you know. Anyway, this is not a small little thing. It's basically going to be the next era from Pisces and then it's the Aquarian era and that's like the spiritual water bear. So now with the Pisces and with the ram before that it's all sort of like lead you towards an alpha or a, you know, even a pyramid and there's some god or person like on a company there's a CEO, a main guy and there's a main president or the main king in any of our organizations of those times. But now that we've reached this level we can gain in decentralized organization, like a horizontal organization, so like it's like uh, decentralized, it's like it's all kind of weaved together like a spiritual fabric, or like the water bearer, like it's, it's in the water, we're all just one molecule, you know, one uh, water, H2O, H2O atom in the spiritual water. You know, and so then I believe that that will give us a center in the sense of infinite which has no center but it's an idea or a thought or a um, organizational method and like a belief system that we can go beyond the physical plane in the physical realm and live in a spiritual energy form or exist. It's not even like living but it's existing. You are a independent. You don't need a body anymore once we would reach that stage and I still believe that it would take like a million years at our highest level of evolution of you know medicine and mind growth and spirituality and um, physical science uh, able comprehension of the physical realm and the notion of time and space being infinite. There can't be 
an end to space. There just can't. But it's a property of the universe and there's no brick wall at the end of it and nothing beyond there and oh it just can't it just can't be there has to be if there was one big bang there would have to be more big bangs and so then when we can realize that we exist in this infinite realm then hopefully that can lead us to higher innovation and, and a higher plane of life so that we can keep this ship afloat and keep living in this universe on planet earth in this, this in this biosphere biosphere existence where life can exist and then we've evolved through this biological evolution in order to be more cognizant and have more understanding and, and more ability to perceive the world as beyond the world around us and yeah and, and Freudian and think beyond the existence like Pablo Picasso says like uh, if you can imagine it it's real. It, it's not quite exact thing, but it's something like that. If, you, know, you can think of it, then it has a certain level of reality. And I'm saying that infinite resonance and infinite renaissance are both real terms, and that is the essence of the Aquarian age which is upon us and totally necessary so that we don't destroy this planet and become extinct. It's going to be very tough and very long worked out process to actually gain in uh, eternal connection which is a connection to some existence in an alternate reality that we have not been able to prove despite of whatever the religions say we have not gotten to uh, like would you know some people would call it like a God state of uh, energy of mind energy or um, united with you know if you want to call it God I guess I can't stop you but I don't even like that because it's an anthropomorphic thing rather than um, a spirit thing that's diverse. It is um, everywhere at once. It's not in one place, but it's everywhere in the whole realm. It's decentralized organization, decentralized love. And that's what I'm trying to say right here in this video is uh, there is a love, there is a hope and a love that we can have a goal and a purpose to connect with this energy like uh, some they called it uh, over a hundred years ago they called it the Akashic Record and then I don't know how many a thousand or some years ago in the Bible they they call it the Book of Life and I so much more prefer the book of life than the book of extinction. And I think every human being has it in them to feel that way and to be part of a infinite renaissance and a spiritual path that is more like a knowledge based belief system of the health, well being, and longevity of all human collective, of ourselves and all other people on this planet, and all other mammals and reptiles and creatures and even plants, and the beauty 
of the diversity of the nature on our planet. We have to preserve that in order to reach our highest possibility, our highest potential as a spiritual life form. Thanks for listening. That was a long one.